guys, welcome back to my channel. So, in light of everything that is happening right now, I decided to just continue on making YouTube videos because right now this is my main source of income because everything has been canceled. So, I'm literally just working from home, making videos, etc. So, today um, we're just gonna have some fun, make some silly videos, and just kind of go from there, you know? Uh, this is my. This is my quarantine zone, if you want to call it. This is pretty much where I'm hanging out the next few days. Um, so yeah, so hopefully this video will kind of make you feel not alone. So let's go ahead and start. So about a week ago, I was on a podcast where it was discovered I apparently know nothing about the 90s. I was doing the Raw After Show podcast on Fightful with Sean Ross Sapp when everybody started asking me all of these questions and apparently I know nothing about the 90s. So it was very, very embarrassing. So today I decided to kind of see what do I really know about the 90s. I was born in 92, but let's face it, what do I know, what do I don't know? So today I am taking a the I'm taking a BuzzFeed quiz that is called the ultimate 90s trivia quiz so let's see how much I really know about the 90s all right here we go question one which album sold more records Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill or Spice Girl Spice okay so I only know like one or two songs from Spice Girls and I know a tons of Alanis Morissette songs but I feel like the Spice Girls might have been more popular. So even though I know more Alanis Morissette, I'm going to go with the Spice Girls. <laughs> Which movie won the 1998 Oscar for Best Original Screenplay, Titanic or Good Will Hunting? I've never seen Good Will Hunting. I've seen Titanic one million times. Uh, I'm going to go with Titanic because I like Titanic. It makes me cry all the time. <laughs> What event became known as the Whack Herd the Whack Herd Round the World? I've never heard of that. Ooh, is that bad? Uh the physical altercation between Steven and Irene on MTV's The Real World. The attack on figure skater Nancy Kerrigan. Oh, you know what? I did watch that I Tanya movie with Margot Robbie, but I kinda don't remember that much about it. But I feel like the whack heard around the world would have to be something serious. So I'm going to go with the attack on figure skater, Nancy Kerrigan. Uh, what is Courtney Love's real birth name? Courtney Michelle Harrison, Michelle Love. I have no idea. <laughs> I had faith that I would do a lot better on this quiz. Um, I feel like her real name would probably be something more simple. So I'm going to go with Courtney Michelle Harrison. Tamaguchi is a Japanese part mantu, part mantu, I don't know how to read now, of what two words? Uh, egg and watch, egg and computer, Tamagotchi. Well, it's an egg shape and it's a computer. I used to have a Tamagotchi from what I remember. I think I had one like for five minutes because I don't remember much about it. Uh, I'm going to go with egg and computer since it has like a computer feel to it. What is the name of the house cat, a.k.a. Christina Ritchie movies in the 95 movie Casper? Oh my god, I saw Casper like twice and I do not remember this. Oh god. See, this is a problem. I have a terrible memory. I'm gonna go with Blackington. <coughs> what was the name of the judge who presided over the O.J. Simpson murder trial? Okay, oh my god. So I watched the O.J. Simpson trial on the American story thing, whatever. I watched the whole thing, but I don't remember. Ito? Kato? Kato? Ito? Oh my god, I watched this. I don't remember. All I remember is that uh, Kim Kardashian's dad was his lawyer, and then he and that Ross from Friends played him. Okay, I'm just gonna go with Kato? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> What was the name of the sheep who was the first successfully cloned animal in 1996? What? Uh, Dolly? What does the acronym JNCO, the brand name of those gargantuan jeans, stand for? Oh my god, guys. I'm doing horrible on this quiz. Is this? Oh my god. I'm starting to think this was not the 90s. Judge none, choose one, journey now, carry on. Um, I'm going to go with judge none, choose one. Who was not a member of the Mickey Mouse Club? Carrie Russell or Jessica Simpson? I know Britney Spears was a member. Wasn't, wasn't Christina Aguilera one too? 
Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go with Carrie Russell. I feel like Jessica Simpson would be in it, but I'm not too sure. <laughs> what was the flavor of a soft drink Surge? I've never heard of Surge. Was this like original Mountain Dew? <laughs> I'm gonna go with citrus because it looks like citrusy. Who was the creator of Dawson's Creek? J.J. Abrams or Kevin Williamson? Ugh. J.J. Abrams? <laughs> what was the title of Madonna's controversial 1992, erotica or sex? I'm gonna go with erotica. I feel like it's definitely erotica. <laughs> what complication was Y2K based on? At midnight, all computers would reset to the year 000. Computers would interpret the year 2000 as 1900. Okay, so I remember a lot about Y2K, and I remember everybody was freaking out that the world was going to end. I remember that people were, like, quitting their jobs, and I remember, like, kind of being scared, but I think I was kind of sheltered on that stuff, and I know it had to do with something about this, but, oof, what was it exactly, though? I don't, I think it's the first one that they would reset, I think. Oof, I don't remember. <laughs> first in sync with the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> I love Backstreet Boys. The Backstreet Boys are the only ones that matter. Uh, but who came first though? Uh, I'm gonna say Backstreet Boys. Uh, I don't know who came first, but I love the Backstreet Boys. Like I literally like, like love the Backstreet Boys. In sync, I like like three songs, but I was a Backstreet Boys girl, like full on. Um, but I don't know who came first, though. I just know that I love the Backstreet Boys, and that's it. Um, so I'm just going to go with Backstreet Boys for fun. The Hellmouth was a supernatural portal on which 90s TV show? Charmed or Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Uh, oh, I've never seen any of these two shows. But the Hellmouth sounds like it'd be part of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Who wrote the book The Firm 1991? Oh my god, I don't know! Frick, I suck! No, I'm gonna go with John Grissom on Grish Grisham on this one. Is this Beavis or Butthead? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, first of all, before I answer this question, I've seen Beavis and Butthead years ago, maybe a couple of times. Um, but I think this one's Beavis. I think. I don't remember. Okay, Rock. Of the Nickelodeon animated series, Rocco's Modern Life was what kind of animal? A wallaby. What was the name of the Pentagon employee who secretly recorded phone conversations with Monica Lewinsky in which she talked about her affair with Bill Clinton? Here's the thing about this. Like, I know what happened. I know Bill Clinton slept with Monica Lewinsky or whatever. They had an affair. But I don't remember, like, the details, though. I'm just going to go with Paula Jones. <laughs> Which was the highest grossing movie of the 90s? Uh, Titanic or Jurassic Park? Ooh, I'm gonna go with Titanic because I love Titanic. Which future Oscar winner starred on Beverly Hills 90210? Is it Charlize Theron or Hilary Swank? Uh, Charlize? I feel like she would be in it. What was the name of the prostitute who Hugh Grant got caught with? Alexis Diamond or Divine Brown? Ugh, I was just watching Bridget Jones' diary last night, and I was kind of trying to remember that he was involved in a scandal, but I didn't really remember, like, what the details of the scandal were, so I don't even remember this. I'm just going to go with Alexis Diamond. Alexis Diamond sounds like a name that would be, yeah. <laughs> Which film was the first ever animated movie to be nominated for an Academy Award for Best Picture, The Lion King or The Beauty and the Beast? Or Beauty and the Beast. I'm just gonna go with The Lion King. <laughs> Who sang the Friends theme songs? Jim, the Rembrandts or Jim Blossoms? Man, I watch Friends all the time. Is it the Rembrandts? I, I'm just gonna go with the Rembrandts. <laughs> At what event did Michael Jackson have onstage kiss with his then wife Lisa Marie Presley? Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. I'm just going to go with the VMAs because I feel like it's a lot lighter than the Grammys. In 1997, who brought the first woman to be appointed as a Secretary of State in the United States? Madeleine Albright? Madeleine, Al Madeleine Albright? Janet Reno. I'm going to go with Albright. Clueless is loosely based on which Jane Austen novel? I've seen Clueless. I'm going to go with Emma. Drew Barrymore played which scandalous tabloid figure in a made-for-TV movie? Tanya Harding or Amy Fisher? I'm just going to go with Amy Fisher. 
What did Lorena Bobbitt do to her husband? Cut off his PP? Held him captive in a basement. I feel like cut off his PP is more something that she would probably do. Which Jim Carrey film came out first? The Mask or Ace Ventura Pit Detective? I'm gonna go with Ace Ventura? Winona Ryder's character Lilana declares that she won't work for which retail chain? I didn't even see this, so I'm just going to go with the gap. In 1996, Summer Olympics were held in which U.S. city? I don't know. Atlanta? God. A portion of whose ear did Mike Tyson bite off during a box? Oh, yeah, Evander Holyfield. I know that. I know that. I can say that with confidence. Or hopefully. Oh, I'm not even feeling too confident anymore. <laughs> All right, the movie 10 Things I Hate About You is based on which Shakespeare play? I've seen the movie. I've seen the movie, but I don't know which play it was based off of. And if they mention this in the movie, then let's just say I forgot. Much Ado About Nothing. That's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> which 90s toy popular with girls was eventually recalled because it was caused too much injuries? Sky dancers or skip it? Never heard of it, so I'm just going to go with skip it. <laughs> what is the name of the high school in Boy Meets World? Oh, oh, yes, I've been re-watching Boy Meets World. John Adams High. John Adams High. Okay, this is the only question that I'm 113,000% per per sure positive. Yes. <laughs> what was the real name of the mysterious Unabomber? Theodore Kaczynski, Eric Menendez. Dude. Didn't I just watch the documentary or was I going to watch the documentary? No, I watched the documentary on the other guy. But didn't they think that he was the Unabomber? Uh. I'm just going to go with Theodore Kaczynski. Yes, because Eric Menendez, isn't he the brother that killed with the other brother that killed his parents? Which of these is not a Jonathan Taylor Thomas movie? I don't know, Jungle to Jungle? What was Aaliyah's first single? Back and forth, AJ, nothing but a number. Oh, Aaliyah. Back and forth? When the iBook was released in 1999, which was not one of the five colors available? Key lime or powder pink? I feel like you would have to have pink, wouldn't you? But maybe they thought it was too girly, so I'm going to go with powder pink not being available. What was the name of Howard Stern's first book? Miss America or Private Parts? No idea, Private Parts. Whose name did Johnny Depp tattoo on his finger? Kate Moss or Winona Ryder? Winona Ryder! I know this because I had a big crush on Johnny Depp and I remember reading that fact about him. And I remember thinking that I wanted him to tattoo my name on him, but hey, times have changed. Who was the first host of MTV's House of Style? Uh, Cindy Crawford? The band Ace of Base was from what country? Uh, Sweden? Which album turned 20 in 2014? Dookie by Green Day or The Benz by Radiohead? I'm going to go with Dookie by Green Day. In 1992, a fashion label was Mark Johnson. Mark Jacobs fired from for his fame, infamous grunge collection. I don't know. Jeffy, I'm going to give up, guys. <laughs> what toy created as a prop in Home Alone 2 actually became a real toy due to popular demand? Talk boy or yak back? Talk boy. I hate this quiz. On Saved by the Bell, what is Screech's proper name on the show? Uh, I've literally seen like two episodes of Saved by the Bell. I'm just going to go with Seth Finkelstein. That seems like it would be his name. <coughs> what is Baby G? A doll that made realistic baby noises. A brand of watches popular with 90s girls. Okay, I was born in 92. Apparently this toy was n not one of the toys I had. So I'm just going to go with a doll... That made realistic baby noises. That sounds right. <laughs> Alrighty, so my results were I got 19 wrong and 31 right. So that is about 62% that I actually got right. So that's like what, like a D? <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> um, guys, apparently I don't know much about the 90s, so I have to clearly brush up on my 90s knowledge. So, thank you all for watching this video. I hope I entertained you for a couple of minutes. And go ahead and give me a really good fun fact from the 90s or something you think I should really know about the 90s in the comment section below so that I can get a lot smarter here. <laughs> um, until next time, I'll see you guys later, but please continue enjoying yourselves. Try not to stress too much. Um, hang out, watch TV, you know, just have some fun. I, the most fun we can possibly have right now. And if you haven't already, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Till next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.